my name is Joel. I'm a gameplay student. We're back doing this. <laughs> um, what's the point of this video? Who cares about Five Nights at Freddy's? The goal of this video is going to be... I know Five Nights at Freddy's. I've watched people play Five Nights at Freddy's. Markiplier, the king of Five Nights at Freddy's. I've seen all the videos at some point or another. The goal of this video is going to be to figure out the distinction between watching somebody play a game and playing the game yourself and the differences that experience provides. So, one of the things that I noticed, um, which you can tell is pretty obvious over the course of YouTube's career or history, was that a lot of like the horror YouTubers got really comfortable with horror. And they got so comfortable, you could even argue they got like desensitized. Where I've heard interviews where they're talking about how you know, they don't still find it scary anymore. And if you ever watch, like, uh, we're going to go with Markiplier, Markiplier's uh, scary game series, over time you'll notice it's a lot more jokey, and it's a lot less him being scared by what's happening. In fact, those are, like, rare occasions where the game really stands out. But back in 2014, when everyone was desensitized, or was sensitized and was uh, nice and vulnerable... <laughs> Markiplier was quoted for saying Five Nights at Freddy's was the scariest game he had ever played. And so we're going to try that out. We're going to test it. We're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm curious to see how it plays out. I haven't... Well, I have actually played it, but I don't remember it. I think I played it like a year or two ago when I first got it on like a sale. But I yet to have actually like played it past like I think like night one. I don't remember enough to be able to comment on it. So that's good enough for me. Hopefully that's good enough for you. We're going to jump into it. This game is dated. <laughs> it is dated in a way that most games don't, uh, which is that, uh, or in some games do, which is that uh, visually it feels old, despite the fact that the graphics still look good. It's a very particular like shift in style notice that you can notice in like early 2000s games or like mid 2000s games. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Looking for security guard. I could not read all that. Something about dismemberment. <laughs> 12 o'clock, first night. Okay. Whoa. Man, I never realized that this is like... Is this a photo? Because this is not a 3D model. It's way too flat. I think this is a skybox that's like warped. The Nutcracker theme song? That I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovery, what's this cupcake? I don't remember that cupcake. A missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached. Good old classic blah, blah, phone blah. guy. Now that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing <laughs> those same That's cool. songs for cool. 20 years, I never the fuck? About, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. What the hell is that? Remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So, so down is toggle aware. camera. Do tend to a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up and they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day too. But then there was the bite of 87. The bite of yeah. 87. <laughs> it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. You know? Frontal. Now, wait, is that just a lobotomy? The only real risk Dude, I do not remember this going this long. If they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton 
without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't... Oh, open. no. My uh, mouse isn't restrained to the window. So it's going into the next monitor. <laughs> oh no. Earlier when I was trying to get the game ready to be streamed, I hit pause to see if I could modify the settings, and escape cancels the- or closes out the game. It's that unsupported, so I'm like, I'm really nervous that I'm just gonna keep dragging my mouse off and... But hey, first day sleep breeze. Failing. Alright, good night. If I watch them, do they not move? Okay, so I noticed a couple things. First off, we are in, like, a cylinder. So if you think of, like, a round, just, like, pillar, we're on the inside of it, and this office part is a photo that's curved to the inside of the cylinder. You can tell because the desk literally is warped, and there is n it's all flat. I think it might be a GIF to let the, uh the fan look realistic in terms of its spin. It has like a little bit of a cycle to it. The The fan might be sitting on top of it or it might be a whole thing to support the gift so that the fan doesn't stand out. But it's one of the two. And then it's got the wires trailing off the tops of it. And then on the sides, I think these are other photos that are like slightly outside of it or maybe they're, maybe they're also there but they're like just perspectively shifted I'm not sure so that's probably how it was made so, and then this is like hover over the button and then if it toggle the state and so one state is camera state and the other state is look around state um, the other thing that I noticed which is a really cool design thing I don't know the I think his name is Scott Cawthon I don't know his design experience um, but what's really cool about it is that <laughs> if you notice whichever direction I'm looking fully enough to see the the door and the light button I can't see the doorway on the other one so I it that is a really subtle trick to 100% make me feel claustrophobic and, or like paranoid that I'm not looking in the right direction hey there what up buddy we're already at 3 a.m. there's Chica Freddy's still in there Where's Bonnie? Where the f what the fuck is going on? What is the pop up? I hear footsteps. Why the fuck do I hear footsteps? Good, Bonnie. Am I gonna be warned that they're standing there, or like, see now I'm like questioning everything I know about this game because I've watched a lot of Let's Plays of this game whenever it was really popular when I was younger, and I don't remember. Okay. <gasps> oh fuck. <laughs> that startled the shit out of me. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Oh man. It's me. Why does that keep popping up? What am I doing? Are you still here? If I open this... No, shut the door! Shut the door! Is the game frozen? Dude, for fuck's sake, the door wouldn't shut! Why wouldn't the door shut? What the hell is happening? Is there a face in there? I thought I saw an eyeball. <laughs> Bro, shut the door! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, just continue, I guess. Fuck. Oh man. 
I feel way more jumpy than I did when I was watching. <laughs> Go figure. It makes it pretty obvious you're about to get attacked, though, which is interesting. I don't know why that door refused to reopen. Or refused to shut again. That was so weird. And then I checked the camera, and then checking the camera was probably, like, the thing that executed me, because I was ignoring it officially. Okay, they're all three there. They're probably not going to leave till like, three. Let's go check on... I think this is Foxy's Cove. Okay. So what do we have? We got a backstage room. That's the room we just saw on the loading screen. Then we have restrooms. Those are some tiny ass restrooms. Unless it's like the curve. Maybe that's like, like a, the audio only. Interesting. That's in the kitchen. All three of them. Dining room is clear. Supply closet. Left side or west side and the east side. How the hell do you get back here without going through here? Is that even possible? Is there a loop around somewhere? Dude, it's still 12 a.m. What the fuck? There we go. Jesus, how long was that? About a minute? So is it a so we have to survive six minutes then? Okay. He's starting to peek out a little bit. Wait, are they all photos too? I think I just noticed warpage. The hell was that? Why did I hear dum dum dum? Who's who's humming? Dude, what do I know about this game? <laughs> I thought I knew everything about this game. I was like, oh yeah, I've watched some of the lore videos, you've watched a couple game theories, you know. You've watched a couple Let's Plays. I feel like you know most of the things that are about, about an eight-year-old game, but uh, <laughs> I guess not. Or is that them making the noise? Are they singing? I thought they were just, I thought they were like turned off for that part. Okay, so there's like a show tunes looping, which is the da da da. I gotta say, it feels just alive enough and just dead enough to be creepy. Like the the place feels like it's just active enough and just not active enough, where it's on edge. Okay, who's making that noise? Man, now I'm trying to figure out, like, I don't think these are 3D models. I think these are all photos. But they move. So if they move, does that mean that they're, like, to see if, like, still shots for each of the... I think those are photos. But if that's true, I'm trying to think how he programmed that. If that's true, then that would mean that... There's what, like a couple hundred photos of each combination of animatronic in every combination of room? That seems weird, very unoptimized. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. So that's how they force them to move. Where the hell do you go? Oh, there you are. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so... <laughs> Bro, where the fuck did you go? Where the fuck did he go? There he is. Okay, I need to stop using the camera. We're running out low on battery. I hear footsteps.
footsteps? I'm scared of going for the camera because I feel like the second I go for the camera, they're gonna pop around. Bonnie's in the supply closet. They're both still on the show stage, so he's the only one that's moved. Okay. I can work with that. Okay. Waiting for 4 a.m. Okay, Bonnie's missing now. It's 4 a.m. Okay, sitting on the recording, checking time. Chica's now in the there. Okay. Let's make sure I'm right about the time between the hours. Under my understanding, we're about to hit midpoint now. Okay. Did he move? He looked like he moved. Okay. I know where all four of them are. One third battery. Approaching 5 a.m. in 10 seconds. Counting. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. So it's not a minute. Fuck, how long is it? Uh, where the hell did Chica go? Chica's in there. Okay, Chica's in the restroom. It's still 4 a.m. Okay, so that was about a minute and a half, minute 20 fuck is that noise? Someone walking up? Ready for the door. Okay, based on the minute 20 model, we have 50 seconds. Chica, Bonnie's still in there. Freddy's still there. Okay, everyone's still away. So we should just be able to wrap this out. Bonnie really liked that supply closet, and I am okay with that. Alright, should have less than 30 seconds left. 15. Oh, I hear footsteps. Someone's moving around. Should be any moment now. The fuck is the who makes who's making the dum 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 noise? Um. Okay, we are now past the amount of time that I thought we would be at. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Jesus Christ, that was night one. Okay. Man, if you played, like, a whole series of these games, I could see why jump scares wouldn't bother you anymore. <laughs> okay. Phone guy, round two. What do we got? Um, when he finishes this and we get into another bit of silence, I'll explain something. Uh, hello? Hello? Well, if you're hearing this and you made it to day two... I, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view. And those blind spots have to be right outside your doors. 
So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, <laughs> no, not, not at all. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for long periods of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Um, one of the things I wanted to clarify... When I was describing how the game was built, and I'm like, oh, this is just a photo. I want to clarify that, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, I think that the point of games is to give an experience. So if you can do that with a cylinder or a 3D model, it doesn't matter to me. What matters is the experience in the end. So, honestly, the fact he was able to pull it off with a 3D model, considering how many gamers fucking hate basic graphics, <laughs> I would consider a, a really incredible win for the indie community. Um... Because I know a lot of people who are like, you know, they're like, uh, who hate, like, low graphic, or low, you know what I mean. I can't speak. It's fun. Whatever. Okay, Chica's not in the bathroom again. She likes the bathroom. Oh, fuck, he's up. He is close. I don't want to go for the... Should I shut the door? I guess we'll just wait. Do I... Do I pull out my camera? Okay, here, reposition. Okay. Freddy's still there. Bonnie's still there. Or not Bonnie, Chica. Okay, we're coming up on 2 a.m. Third of the way through. Okay, I think that's Bonnie, so I think he left the door. Cool. Okay, why the door? <laughs> why was the door shutting earlier? I feel cheated. Okay. Dum, 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 da -dum, da -dum. Okay, I panicked. Hey, I know Foxy's supposed to be like a sprinty guy, so like, I. <laughs> but I am the camera didn't work. Where the fuck is Chica? Hi there, Chica. steps. Heard on my left. Okay, cheek is missing, but I don't feel like checking cans just yet. Cause she might be attacking. Okay, we're just gonna chill here. 
Roddy's still in there. Bonnie has moved out because I think he's here. Okay. Chica's at the window. there. She's missing. Where the fuck are you? Oh god, you're behind me. Oh, I hate that. Okay. On 5 a.m. I think I can hold out with like 15% power, just lock down everything. Okay, I don't even need to check anything. We're just gonna stay here. We got 15% power. That should be able to get us through most of this. Okay, they're both over there. Can probably should open it for a second. Do one door. What is the pop-up shit? Stop it, okay? Cut it out. 5%, come on. 4%. What the fuck is with this bullshit? Is it because of the power? Is that what it is? Oh fuck, turn off lights. Okay, we want all the power we can. Come on, I got, I, did, I lasted so long. I don't want to throw with the power. Did I throw? I think I threw. Come on, give me a time. Come on, baby. Come on. Holy shit, where'd it go? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Right, I have thoughts, but I don't know if I actually have time to explain them. Oh, fuck. We're about to get called again, aren't we? Yep, okay. I'll try to find a way to compose them while he talks. Chica. Um, I want to see if I can, I don't know if I want to recreate these behavior patterns, but I want to see if I can logically figure out what the behavior patterns are, because they're really interesting. And more so, why is it that this way of interacting with the different guys roaming around, it makes me feel so fucking paranoid. 
I need to figure that out, because that is incredibly cool that it gives you that feeling. Okay. Foxy? I don't know what the fuck your deal is, but I don't like the fact you're poking your head out now. The start of this day. Okay. We're down to 80% battery and only an hour has passed. Oh, fuck. Under 80%. Where the fuck did you go? Oh, you're still there. And who was moving around? <sighs> okay, I can see you. Is that a person? I think that's a person. Wait, am I not looking at animatronic there? Oh my god, I wasn't. I thought she was next to me, but she wasn't, and I just clicked off. Oh shit. Okay, Chica's still there, he's still there. Okay, doesn't seem like we lost anything. Okay. Okay, she left. Where the fuck did she go? There she is, okay. Now Bonnie's on the move. Oh, I'm burning through power. So Chica went bathrooms. Okay, that is an animatronic. Okay, Chica's approaching. Freddy's on the move? That's someone there. Someone's standing there, Foxy's in the spot, she's in there. I'm missing somebody. No, I just clicked off again. Fuck! Oh, why did you not make this full screen? Oh, fuck. I'm at 40% power, and there's still three hours left. Bonnie's in the supply room. He's in there. Where the fuck is Bonnie and Burke? Er, we're looking for Chica. No, he moved. Okay, he's there. Chica's behind me. I hear Freddy's tune. Why do I hear Freddy's tune? Okay, I know where three of them are. Chica likes that door. Why do I hear the fucking thing going off?
Uh, what does that mean? Four AM, twenty percent. Okay. Chica's in there. He's in there. Dude, where the fuck is Bonnie? 5 a.m., 16% power. Okay. Same spot we were relatively like last time. I don't know which side that was on. Shit. Okay, that can be open. Someone's over there. What the hell is that noise? Foxy's almost leaving Pirate Cove. Five percent. I think we just hold it open. Or hold it shut and hope for the best. Please, game. Please. Was, yes. Oh, thank God. Holy shit. Okay. 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 Alright. I'm getting the hang of this. Alright. After... Whatever I die next, we're going to talk about uh, character design. Yeah, phone guy, what's up? Is that noise? Oh wait, that's the phone. I was trying to. Okay. Foxy. Nobody's in stage. Okay, there's Bonnie. Sheik is coming in on the right. Freddy's missing. Freddy seems to be hard to find. What the fuck is that noise? there. So that's Freddy. Bonnie's in supply. Okay, he's behind me. I need to check that pretty much constantly until he leaves. The 
fuck is that laugh? Why is he glitching out? Why is Foxy almost out of his cage? What the hell does that mean? And Freddy are right fucking here. You gotta be kidding me. Holy shit. Okay, that's what they meant by sprint. Oh, hi there. They're about to attack. I can feel it. I need to check on what that, whatever that fucking music is. Shit. Okay. He's in the supply closet. Freddy's missing. Chica's close. Foxy's back. Freddy's missing. Laughing. Okay, we're 3 a.m. We got 30%. That's not bad. Okay, he's back at the supply closet. Foxy's about to sprint. Chica's right behind me. I think Bonnie's gonna try to do a sneak attack. Hey, stop it. He's right there in that way. It's so hard to see what's in that hallway, man. Okay, are you still there? Yep, okay. Oh, we're running out of power. It just hit 5 a.m. We got 10%. Okay, you left. We, we need to use every bit we got. Fuck. You could not have come at a worse time.
panic pit. That's not good. Oh, this is gonna come down to the fucking wire. Fuck. Wait, did I just get saved? I got saved by lack of power. Okay, come on. Please. I'm so close. Oh, man. Please. Fuck! I mean, he's about to jump out of it. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> it couldn't have been more than like 20 seconds. God. Okay. We're gonna. We died. I am totally probably going to beat this at some point, but for the purposes of this video, that's enough for today. Let's un let's understand why. Let's go through a couple questions. Look at the designer's point of view. First off, what is the... Let's say... Let's scratch everything we understand about Five Nights at Freddy's, and let's figure out the questions that would make us make the design decisions to get where... They, where I think his name is Scott Cawthon got the game to be. All right, I'm gonna. This is a bit of conjecture, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it. So, the first thing is, what is the skill involved in, um. What's the skill involved in playing Five Nights at Freddy's? What makes Five Nights at Freddy's feel fun to accomplish? What is the the sensation that you're going for that goes, oh, I beat the game and not, I happen to survive a bunch of random jump scares. There's some method to the madness, some decision-making pathway that got a player to feel that way. I would argue for this game, from what I just played, I would say that the, dis the goal of the game is uh, risk management. Um, there are a set of risks, um, and then you have to manage those risks. Those risks include um, power, uh, so lack of power equals Freddy. Then you have uh, roaming animatronics. Uh, I can't spell animatronics. <laughs> and that's split into the, all the categories. So we have Freddy, uh, Foxy, um, Chica, and uh, Bonnie, and music, whatever the music is. Um, okay, so this would be how you'd split this. And so you've created these five characters. These are the different risks that we're trying to avert. Now the question is, what makes Freddy different from Foxy? Because if they're the same thing, then the set of risks you're managing become relatively boring. If it's four of the same, and then power, then it's really just power versus animatronics, which you could argue to some extent that's what the game is, but there's clearly a variation in the animatronics to give you an interesting sense of um, variety and different types of challenges. So from what I saw, now I could be totally wrong because apparently I remember nothing about this game. Um, Chica, well, you know what? why am I being dumb? We'll organize this properly. Chica uh, focuses r the right side of the map, um, and so we'll come through that right hallway, and uh, hiding spot is trash, or no, is bathrooms. Um, Bonnie focuses left. Um, Hiding spot is supply closet. I think it was what it was called. Foxy uh, stays in Cove until I think he said something about mismanaging cameras. Stays in Cove until X mismanagement value is reached before charging left. Okay. And then Freddy is supposed to uh, bother you on lower power. Okay, so what does this network of or mesh of potential risks mean? Well, it means that depending upon which risk you're trying to avoid, you're going to shift your focus into letting other risks slide. You can't perfectly balance all risks equally. You have to balance the risks that are currently in your face. 
So, because we have two that focus left, my assumption is that he made Chica more aggressive to make the right side become weighted more. You know, so that uh, left side isn't focused as much. Um, I think Bonnie is much more passive because of that. And Foxy only comes out in very specific circumstances. So Chica seems to be like a predominant focus. Now, I don't know this is true, but it could be possible that Bonnie and Chica could swap positions. And Chica could come from left and Bonnie could come from right. But I have yet to see that. And I can only argue to what I've played because my memory apparently on the actual what I've watched is off. So, based on this session, what I'm concluding is Chica focuses right, Bonnie focuses left. Because of that, Bonnie is slightly more passive, and Foxy is more um, variable to combine to give a value similar to Chica. So, you constantly have to keep an eye out for Chica, because Chica is just on your ass the entire game. Freddy is supposed to punish you if you suffer power. Now, that's exactly true. When you hit zero power, Freddy is the thing that kills you. But it also says Freddy's more active on lower power. So I'm assuming that on the low power, on like lighter levels like 4 and 5, Freddy migrates more and could even be seen in the hallways is what I'm betting, If especially if you're managing everything else well. Um, so that's probably how they're split. Um, so if we were to look at the map and recreate it, what we really have is we have a set of zones that we're keeping track of. So we have our office zone, and then we have spot on left, back spot on, or right, back spot on right, left, back spot on left, um, closet, uh, whatever this that control room was, uh, the the food area, the stage, bathrooms, music. That's the zones. Now, what's really interesting is the part where you get attacked is in between these two zones. So you're required to check lights every now and then because it doesn't warn you that they're there. You only, if you perfectly knew every camera simultaneously, and instead of looking at them one at a time, you had like a list of them that you could look out, then the challenge of having to check lights would be non-existent. Um... So that's a factor. And then the other interesting thing is both of these, can this one less so, but this one is almost impossible to see in. That thing was flickering at least so much for me, I was hard to tell. And what's also interesting is the back ones, because they're behind you, they give you a sense of not being able to, a sense of like having to check extra, even though functionally, these are probably the same as the, as the front ones. The only difference is that they're from behind. Um, which is why whenever Chica would go hide in this back corner, I would constantly be checking right side because I didn't want to miss the, the fact that she was on me. It also means that whenever they attack, they probably attack in the doorway as opposed to attacking through the window. And what that means is that you have to open the door to check, like I had with Bonnie on the left. I haven't... I don't think I've seen body through the window, but maybe I did. I just don't remember it. Um, so the two most common, you could call them common, or like a rarity system. The two most common you're going to encounter are Chica and Bonnie. Chica from right to control. Um, let's do red or yellow. There we go. I don't know if yellow will be easy to see. Uh, not really. Uh, we'll do yellow. Why not? Yellow for that. Uh, oh, there we go. We'll do red. I didn't mean to do that, that's fine. And then we'll do orange for, or blue for Bonnie. Bonnie is gonna be basically in this area. Uh, no, that's bad. It probably is more like this area. And sometimes it'll extend out to there. Um, and, oh, let's go back to blue. I need to get better at paint, this is fine. And Chica focuses this area. So the area of aggression or the area of focus, basically in the Venn diagram of him, would be here, and the area of focus for her, oh my god, I need to stop doing this, Jesus Christ, is going to be here. So that's going to be why she's aggressive, that's going to be a little bit why he's more passive and sneaky. Foxy, Foxy sits exactly here before running down, I made that purple, oh my god, this is such a, okay, you guys get what I'm saying. 
Um, I think that the variety is good, and I also like the fact that I could never find Freddy. <laughs> I think that's actually really cool, um, that you genuinely don't know where he is. Um, so if we were to look at the design of this a bit closer, one thing we could say I think is true is that um, when you take how to put this um, let's say let's say we were to redesign Five Nights at Freddy's and we were designing it in such a way where um, where it was easier to figure out where everyone was so the cameras would not be um, uh, one focus so we'd have a panel of, of cameras and then the other thing would be that we would have um, is that the camera positions would show the doorway so that you could tell much easier that it was facing that they were in the doorway and you could immediately exit and shut the door let's say both of those were true this game would become significantly less scary I would argue to the point of being boring I think the fact that it focuses one camera makes it so that you have to uh, you have to constantly be checking all the positions and because they're moving you can't ever trust the fact that uh, that you're gone it long enough for it to be fine like if you check away for half a second they could have moved in that half a second and they could be at your door that combined with the fact that you cannot check the doorway through cameras imposes a sense of um of paranoia when you're checking cameras that made me not want to check cameras later on when I probably should have. Um, I think that's really interesting because basically on those later levels, when I was getting low in power, I didn't want to check anything. And especially if Chica was in my back right corner, I didn't want to check cameras for longer than like literally half a second to go click on something because I was, and I would check to see if she was in there on the cameras instead of just checking in the lights. I was so paranoid that, that she was going to sneak up on me. Um, so I think it's really interesting the fact that it limits your focus and I also think it's good that it doesn't make it makes you step out of the camera to check the doors it almost um, it almost artificial I don't know if artificially is the right word but without giving you a 3d model of sitting at a desk and checking to your left and to your right in the doorways to see if someone's there it still gives you that same feel of like I need to pull my face out of my monitor and physically look to make sure that they're not sneaking up on me. Um, so it almost gives you like a sense of um, positionality or or direction or location that you might not normally have in like a <laughs> in a somewhat warped skybox like photo desk um, layout would maybe typically give you, which maybe is why it it wasn't as noticeable for a lot of people. I think the most interesting thing about this is the fact that um, that this template, I can totally see why this blew up into a series and why a lot of people mod it. Because the template of game design it has so much design flexibility. It's set up a list of risks that you have to constantly check on with a limited perspective and also give those perspectives or give those different risks a character persona and then give them like personalities basically on how the how they move about. Um, yeah, I think that's really cool. All right, well, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to like, comment, follow, subscribe, or whatever the hell else YouTube recommends nowadays. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be posting more stuff. I think the next video will hopefully be the video essay, fingers crossed. Uh, we're gonna be breaking down uh, how, how I view games and how I think games are played. We're going to be talking about tag, which if you're confused, then good, because it's it's a great analogy. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.